Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how to replace the coolant temperature sensor and more importantly how to test it. The coolant temperature sensor on this car is located on the front of the engine under this small cover next to the thermostat. In order to remove it you have to make space for a socket to fit. So with a 6mm first undo the coolant hose clamp and place the hose out of the way. Over here is the coolant temperature sensor. There we go. The connector is out. Then for the air hose press on those two tabs and pry out the end of the hose. After you disconnected the wires now you have space for a 19mm long socket and simply unscrew the sensor from the coolant housing. Fortunately on this car you don't have to remove any coolant. In my situation the connector from the sensor was brittle and it broke but anyway I can still connect it back if I need to. It's also a good thing because now I can easily connect the alligator clips of the multimeter in order to do the test. So what you are looking for when you test it is a continued decrease in resistance when the sensor is introduced into a hot environment from a cold environment. Or the other way around, from a hot temperature to a cold temperature the resistance should increase. Now if I install back the sensor and start the car you can notice the continuity decreasing slowly as the engine is warming up. So these are the indicatives of a working coolant temperature sensor when you test it up. I've got here some hot water and the voltmeter on the continuity test. When I insert the sensor in hot water the resistance will decrease. Right. Now if I take out the sensor the numbers will begin to increase. This is a good indication that the sensor works. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the car. As you can see, this is one of the symptoms of a bad coolant temperature sensor. Is when the fan starts when you start the car. Because the PCM thinks that the engine is overheating. Since it's not getting any signal from the coolant temperature sensor. Alright guys, that's how you remove and test a coolant temperature sensor on this car. Hopefully you can test it up and you don't need to buy a new one. Thanks for watching. If you are new to this channel and you want to see more car repair videos, hit that subscribe button and until next time, take care and I will see you soon.